I'm Rajika and uh, I've been involved with Greenwood School since uh, almost uh, 20 years, 25 years. And uh, one of the areas that I'd like to talk about is uh, inclusive education. Uh, for at least about uh, 12, 13 years, we have been an inclusive school. We've had children with autism, specifically more with autism and uh, maybe a few children with dyslexia and dysgraphia. And we've we've kind of learned how to deal with it on a one-to-one uh, -one basis. It's not that we've had specific uh, training in it, and but we've learned to uh, incorporate ideas to make it easier on the teacher because a lot of times the, it's difficult for the teacher to handle a child with autism. So we've learned how to work with various uh, issues like hyperactivity and uh, getting them to sit in the, in the classes. A lot of times when there's too much of hyperactivity then we do have an aide who sits with the child in the lower classes and we find that by the time the child is uh, first uh, second, the hyperactivity comes down, so they're able to manage independently. We also put only one, we take only one child per class, so the teacher is able to handle it. Initially, I had a lot of issues from the teachers where it was, they always say, we don't know how to handle the class because the child is constantly running out, and the minute the child runs out, the teacher also runs out, and then there are 15, 20 children left, uh, and it, it's kind of, uh, quite frustrating for the uh, teacher but over the years we found that it works and uh, so a lot of times I do take the help of the parent or an aide to help me initially till the child settles down but if the child is severely autistic then I've always had an aide uh, who is around we can ha at most handle the child uh, you know for 20 minutes in the class without an aide but after that it does become a little difficult and we've had different, we, uh, what we found is we found that the children are very responsive. A lot of times it's the parents who have issues with children with uh, inclusive education, not the children. I've had parents who've come and told me that, you know, my child has had a nightmare because uh, Romanchu was in the class or, you know, he was a child with us from nursery till the fourth. And now he's in a high school and it was very, very satisfying to see the way. He was a little bit of a high function child, so it helped. But uh, the way he has, he was groomed, and it was very satisfying to see that uh, he was able to cope in a regular school after, you know, he moved on from this school. And uh, I, I would always tell the parent, you know, just put your wear your shoes, and imagine you had a child uh, with uh, uh, special needs or uh, with intellectual disabilities, and just imagine what you would go through. I mean, you know, because children never have had an issue.